I'm going to present some work I've done in collaboration with Neil Oxterboy, Angel Rivas, and Rosario Fazio. On the problem of exploiting quantum correlations to characterize certain environmental properties that appear in solid state qubit realizations. So if you think about the, the textbook situation to analyze the dynamics of open quantum systems, this is normally the approach we take. So we have our system of interest, which is interacting with a bath, which is a the denomination we do to some sort of uncontrollable surroundings to which we associate a very large number of degrees of freedom. If we trace out the environment, we can derive a reduced dynamical equation addressing only the time evolution of our system. So what happens in some realizations in the solid state is that the, inter the interaction between your qubit and the environment is not direct, as in the previous case, but is mediated by another qubit, let's call it like that, which can be produced as a result of some sort of imperfections in the, in the fabrication techniques, with the result that now our qubit interacts coherently with another two-level fluctuator which is dumped by a bus, right? So we would like to probe an environment of this type and for that what we propose is the following. We construct a two-qubit probe which is made up of two qubits that don't have any direct inter interaction between themselves. I may have another fluctuator, which is done by its corresponding bath. And if the geometry is such that both qubits in the probe can see both fluctuators, despite they don't directly couple to each other, they will get correlated via the interaction, the indirect interaction with the fluctuators. So what we would like to do is to be able to discriminate a situation like this from a situation like that, where our ancillary systems couple themselves coherently with some strength capital J. So what we showed in this paper is that the pace, the rate and the strength at which correlations will build up in our probe is very different depending on whether J is zero or is not. And we actually link that behavior with the property that entanglement is monogamous in the sense that if these two fluctuators couple to each other, then we can link that to an effective reduction in the interaction strength between fluctuators and qubits.